sharpened. Oh, I'm restless. I was looking for someone to test it. Mark me. This blade is cast from the best metal. Don't blame me if you hurt yourself. your scent. When that monkey was alive, he was all about weeping and begging for help. Now, even in death, he led all you younglings right to me. This sack of mine can barely fit you all. <laughs> Kang Jing Long. Now that you are ready, go and weigh up this one for your master. Chosen your way. This time, there will be no 
easy way out. My friend, sit with me a while. Dark furred, devious natured, hunting that guai is no simple task. You do have some skills, but this land bites with the cold. Lack of readiness could be your undoing. Our reunion is destined. And so is my role to teach you this little trick. Ah, I am extraordinary, as is my flame. It shall help you in need, be it injury, weariness, or frostbite. Beast or Yagwai, none shall dare to draw nigh. Bro. 
Darling, come on. It's perfectly cool in here. Join me inside. I've seen the artifacts, will you? Such humor, Admiral. Let go of your stubbornness and I could request Master to set you free. Then I'd be open to joining you. Oh, I don't deserve you. That old bastard has really made good use of Wukong's relic. Even you let your courtier bend to his will. Yet my ears tell me that the destined one has got the money will. Pity. Reckon it won't be your master who unlocks these metals eventually. These gold symbols are made by our Grand Master. And you think a puny monkey can go beyond that? General, how could you know he's here below? Turtle? Snake? Who cares? I caught a whiff of monkey stench familiar enough for me to sound by welcome. Master valued your talents. He kept you alive beneath the pagoda for your own good. How ungrateful. Evidently, you just don't deserve the ecstasy of the new West. Died and come back. Changed your mind. Spin. Monkeys are set in their ways. Still, though, you'll never crack the gold symbol.
What took you so long? Constipation? I was nearly cooked alive in there. Move it. Blasted I saw. Wasn't even worth my second glance back in the court. Ah, that same look again. A furry coat and a pinched face. Luck's all you've got. Great, another mute. Whatever. Let's not dally. Now the turtle and I have shared a few tales. That yellow brow is not like the foes. That old monkey from Mount Huaguo asked me to back you up here to save you from his tricks. He told me that once we gathered all six relics, we could bring Wukong back. Let's say I buy it from now. I'll go and catch up with him first. You take him around.
come it's you! Where's the butter? And where's our prey? The fault is lost! And nothing matters now!
A ghost? Aren't you dead already? For years, I prayed you'd find peace. Still you come to take my life in penance against yours. You wouldn't understand my agony when I took your life. The Buddha sees no such vengeance. I shall usher you to the beyond once more. Judge as well. It requires no effort to trick you. You will never be the destined one. Let me help you end your sorry life. Nothing more. I've done as our brother asked. Till we meet again.
faith has led you here. <laughs> Rest easy. You won't find those noisy chantings and pain screamings here. Ripe melon. Mm. Want a bite? Mm. Mm. It's better than you think. Sun Wukong used it to trick that disciple of mine. Now you've found this place, I'll teach you a trick neither of them knows. Your hand. <laughs> Spellbinder. It hurts no foe, but binds yourself. You'll come to understand its use. An old friend of Sun Wukong came to me, wanting some peace. I led him to the Great Pagoda. Have you paid him a visit? <laughs> they say you are the destined one. But if destiny is set, what difference do our actions make? Ages ago, Jin Janzo and I were peers. Ever questioning with goodwill, he was. His nature made him question the supremacy of us beyond mortal woe and grief. He deemed all souls could be akin to us. Why then do we tower whilst others merely kneel and offer? He asked. I told him the others are less than us. His misstep cast him back into the endless cycle. Reborn, he drew three disciples. But what did they change? One ended up a corpse, others fugitives. He too took to the shadows. <laughs> Pathetic. Those journeyers have misplaced their worship. Why bet on the Sutra, when one oneself can be a Buddha? Kneel before the Buddha of the future. You 
back awaits misguided souls like you. Enter with him and find enlightenment. <laughs> Trickster called you too. This wicked sack is much more vicious than before, nurturing such evilness. Yellowbrow must have woven Wukong's strength into it. That bastard. Join me. Let's fight our way out. Oh, 
meet you in combat! Devoid of it! for others, and in time, you shall fall by their hand. I, Yellow Brow, fight solely for myself. rogue stole my seed sack and fled here. With Wukong's relic, he made it a soul-snatching vessel. He also took my look and my name to trick his old foes into vengeance. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, you potbelly! I should have figured out it was you! <laughs> <laughs> Forgive my little deception. Stolen once, I buy it. Stolen twice, I doubt it. <laughs> Your doubt is fair. I shouldn't have underestimated his nerve. I meant to subdue him myself, but you two were swifter. Fortune favors you, Bajie. But I see great potential in this young one. He might just be... Hmm? The right monkey. Enough of this empty talk! I don't care if Yellowbrow drowns in the lake! We can't have Wukong's relic sink with him! <laughs> For that, pray, lend me that rake of yours. Uh, hmm. 